thinking ahead. Dug in to the wood grain, where my coffee cup usually does its motivational speaking, my elbows support my arched spine, eyes cupped by palms, catching the ocular elixir of pre-depression sadness. The skin on my face leathers, my hair dissolves or desaturates. My daughter grabs my left forearm over the scars of a decades-old break, says, it's not your fault, there's nothing you could have done. I know that's not true. But who quits buying clothes every weekend, driving cars a half mile to walk on a treadmill at the gym, eating meat with every meal, watching movies instead of writing stories or poems, just so they can pretend to have a conversation 64 years from now, where they don't cry into their coffee as they tell their grandchildren mystical stories about seeing animals and trees in forests. <laughs>